Good day, beautiful souls. This is Isis. Today we will be discussing the 13 secret keys of ancient wisdom. Now, in this, I'm going to show you what is called the Metatron wheel. And you will see that it is equal to the Lotus of Om Manapaneham. And we will have 13 attachments to reach our center point, which is the number 13. So we will start with number one. Number one secret of the wisdom. And that is the law of potential. So for those of you who are mathematicians, you will understand PE equals MGH. That means potential energy. PE, potential energy is equal to the mass, which is in the kg, the gravity, and the height in meters. So you can write this down for yourself. PE equals MGH. And what does that really mean? Potential energy equals mass, gravity, height, and meters. Well, it's the 3D world. Potential energy is equal to the 3D. So potential of pure consciousness is the manifestation. So your consciousness is the first law. That which you think is what will manifest. Now it may take some years. For example, I am certain you know someone in your life or you've heard of someone who said, I will, I'm trying to think of a positive outcome rather than a negative outcome, but 99% of humanity has been in the negative. So we'll just go with that, even though I don't wish. <laughs> so somebody you know has stated, I will die in a car accident. And lo and behold, exactly how it was spoken was how it was. It wasn't a coincidence. They wished it upon themselves by using PE equals MGH. So do not do PE equals MGH in the negative. Do it in the positive. Good things are coming to me. Good things are around me at all times. Everything which is positive returns to me. I am kind and courteous to all, and all are kind and courteous to me. This should be your PE equals MGH. So remember, that's the first law. And even if you are unaware of these secret keys, you are still in the first law all the way to the 13th, because this was the design of the matrix. So the second law is the law of grace. Now, law of grace seems a bit mysterious if you really get into what is grace itself. Um, true grace is divine. So true grace is divine. Um, therefore, with a divine creation, such as an angel, they can release some of their divinity or their grace in order to come to the 3D realm. That is why they can materialize while still being an angel. And that is why they can be born into the human form as babies to human parents because they have released the grace or they have released more grace. Of course, nobody's ever released total grace. Um, now, when it comes to grace in the 3D realm, and we're talking about the frequency, the pure frequency of grace is over 800 megahertz. The average frequency of a human is 60 megahertz. So you wanna be a high viber, therefore you want to be never under 160, 160. And on average, you want to hit about 
400 megahertz in order to help you hit these higher vibrational frequencies. Rose oil is a very high vibe and pure rose oil um, put up on you or put on your hair or anything that actually raises your vibrations if you're having a low moment. So pure grace in the purest form in a 3D construct would be to learn and practice grace by no judgment. You see judgment is about a 40 megahertz to a 60 megahertz. So judge lest ye be judged. So let us not judge neither one another nor ourselves. Because when you judge another, you judge yourself. And it's simply a reflection of your limiting beliefs when you do judgment, because judgment is a limiting belief. So that would be the simplest form of letting go of the negative vibrational frequencies in grace. So number one was we want the law of potential. Try to speak and emit from your heart love, unconditional love. Try, when you see something that you may not agree with, do not judge it. That's number two. Rather, go back to law number one. So law number two is law of grace. Law number one is law of potential. So go back to number one and say, I emit the love for the PE equals MGH. And love is what will be. And when it comes to the law of grace, I will not judge, but rather I will accept or stay neutral. Neutral is a good mode to be. And a lot of angels do hit neutrality, but they are not judges at all. And the law of surrender is number three. So today I'm only going to do the first three of the 13 because these are the three you want to practice before you can move forward into the secret keys of wisdom. So the law of surrender, it is as it sounds when an unexpected occurs rather than pull the reins and attempt to steer the wheel of life you must first let go in order to take back control. So you want control of an event, but it's better to just let go and say, oh, I see, I will hit neutrality if I have negative emotion. I will go back to, not, to <laughs> the law two, which is the law of grace, and I will not judge. And I will go back to law one, which is the law of potential because I know for a fact that I'm taken care of and all things are good and all things are happening for me, not to me. And therefore, whatever I have will be blessed and multiplied and in abundance. And remember, for the law of attraction, abundance can be positive or negative. Don't think otherwise. You know, your mind says, oh, abundance is always positive. No. You can have an abundance of negativity and it's all about you. It's not about someone else. Go back to these three basics. The law of potential. All things are given to me and I am well protected and guarded and all that I wish is. Therefore, what I wish is happiness, kindness, prosperity for myself and for all humankind. Law number two, grace. I do not judge lest I be judged. And law number three, let me look one more time, is surrender, sorry. The law of surrender. The law of surrender is, I surrender my will because I know it's all happening for me. And therefore, whatever's the outcome will be in the best for my personal needs. I wish you all a beautiful day.